but you get a lot of different reactions from uh, from your partner. This time he's grabbing my elbow. I bait people with my elbow. Whenever I get two on one, I throw it out there. Um, just see if they're going to try to pull it off. When uh, As soon as they're doing that, my outside foot does like a little cha-cha step coming right to the front of his toe. My inside foot uh, is coming. I'm not really worried about where it's planting. Most important thing I'm concerned about is where my hips are. There can be no space on his leg, between his leg and my hips. But I want to be down low on his knee. So when I step in, I'm stepping in low. Hand that was on the wrist goes to the armpit. All I'm going to be doing is falling over my left shoulder. Just looking over your shoulder. I don't want to see people pulling them on top and throwing. Um, that's what you'll see a lot of. It's not stepping in and then doing a lat drop back or big hip toss. Um, I'm stepping outside foot. Right to his toe, hand on the wrist, is going to the far armpit. Here, inside leg, Not I don't care where the foot is, but my hips have to be tight to his knee. Here, all I'm doing is looking over my left shoulder. Kind of freezing when I get to that position. The tighter my hips are, that's where his hips get lifted up and it actually looks like a, a pop and throw. Um, so I have to make sure my hips are tight to his leg. Get, get that foot away. Attacks that elbow, hand on the wrist is shooting to his far armpit, outside foot stepping to his toe, inside foot's coming right behind, hips are tight to his leg here, knees tight, all I'm doing looking over, left shoulder's hitting the mat. Taking him through. He's got it. 